Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And hey, you're back again to get the Sportsman's picks. And I got them. I got them hot off the presses. But last week, we got pressed. Seven and seven. Yeah. And that puts me at 58 and 36 on the week. Still over 60% this year. In fact, 61.7%. But, uh, yeah. To say that I was hoping for better than what a chimp at the zoo could do? Well, I was. So, uh, let's hope for a better week this week. Of course, this week we have 13 games. Last week we had 14 this week we have 13, quite a few teams on a bye. And with that, let's get into the picks. All right, so the first game I'm going to review is the Thursday night game. Thursday, October 21st, which will be the day after my birthday, by the way. Happy birthday to me. So here is the game, and you've got the Browns, and they're home against the Broncos. But guess what? I'm going back to the Broncos. Yeah, that's right, Mr. Chris Dufour. I am picking the Broncos again. The Browns are a mess right now. They have a lot of injuries, including uh, Faker Mayfield, who has um, something wrong with his shoulder, maybe a dislocated shoulder. He may not even play, nor really should he. But if he does, he's probably going to be playing in a lot of pain and um, not at 100%. And they have other injuries. Odell Beckham, I think, is out. So, And their defense got mauled by the Cardinals. So you can't really say their defense is playing great. So, you know, but the Broncos, they played the Raiders, who are a pretty good team, and they scored 24 points in their loss. They lost 34-24, I think. So I'm going to go with the Broncos in that one. So the next one, we're, we're starting on the Saturday games now, October 24th, and you got the Titans at home against the Chiefs. And guess where I'm going on this one? Yeah, I'm going with the Titans, baby. Titans. The Chiefs, I mean, in the first half last, last week against Washington, the Washington football team, they had their hands full. And they had more turnovers, which has been a bugaboo for them this year. And uh, their defense played better than it has in previous games. But that's maybe because they were playing the Washington football team. Kansas City, I don't see them as an elite team in the AFC anymore. So when they play somebody good that has talent on their roster, you got to consider that they could lose that game. So the next one we have is the Packers are at home against the aforementioned Washington football team. And uh, guess who I'm taking here? Yeah, <laughs> right. I am going to take... Uh, the Green Bay Packers in this one. Yeah, the Packers are, they really should beat the Washington football team. They beat up on my Bears, although really that's not exactly the greatest thing in the world for someone to do. And now let's go to the next game. In the next game, the Ravens are at home against the Bengals. And you know, I'm high on the Bengals. I'm very high on the Bengals. But no, we're going to go... With the Ravens, quote the Raven, nevermore. And yeah, that's going to be nevermore for the Bengals. Because the Ravens now, I mean, they just hit another another level. I mean, you know, they put it into another gear and they are just kicking ass and taking names. I'm here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. So, the next one we have is the Giants are at home against the Panthers. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it shouldn't be a shocker to anybody. Let's go with the Panthers in that one. We are, uh, I mean, you know, 
the New York teams are just really, um, I want to say, terrible. Is that a good adjective? So anyway, we're going to go now to the next game. And you got the Dolphins at home against the Falcons. Now the Dolphins, last week, they lost to Jacksonville. Now I know they were playing in England. They weren't playing in Florida, where both teams are actually from. But Jacksonville. So yeah, I'm going to go with the Falcons. I think the Dolphins are in a free fall. They look like they are just really a complete mess. I mean a complete mess. Uh, the next one we have, the Patriots are at home against the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. And, uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, we're going to go with the Patriots in this one. <laughs> uh, the poor Jets, they keep getting thrown. But, I mean, you know. What game are they going to win? Well, all right, they did win one, actually. Forget who they played. Was it Jacksonville? I don't know. I don't remember. That's how memorable it was. So anyway, uh, let's move along. You have the um, Grudenless Raiders at home against Philadelphia. And as high as I have been early in the season on Philadelphia, I think we got to go with the Raiders here. Uh, their new uh, head coach is an interim head coach. He was, I forget his name, uh, but he was, he was on the staff under Gruden. So he knows the team. He knows the personnel. And I think now he's going to have a, a completely full week to be the guy. And I think if he's the guy... He's going to come up with a game plan that, um, you know, all the players should be familiar with and, e and able to execute. And uh, so uh, they should be able to execute the Eagles, too. The next one we have is the Rams are at home against the Detroit Lions. Yeah. yeah well, you know where we're going here. We're going with the Rams. The Lions, surprisingly, they are, I mean, record-wise, they're the worst team in football. But really, they've lost like three games that easily they could have won. Two of them on last-second field goals that ended the game. So, and one of those field goals was the career longest in the NFL, in the history of the NFL, by the Ravens. So... I don't want to, you know, they are a deceptively, I would say deceptively decent team, even though they don't have a win. But they're not going to beat the Rams. Not in any century. Uh, the next one we have is uh, the Buccaneers are at home against the Bears. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. And I, yes, I did throw the Bears helmet. Even though I love the Bears, we're going to go with the Buccaneers in that one. Tom Brady and the Buccaneers should beat the Bears. Now, if you remember last year, the Bears played the Buccaneers last year and they beat them. But they beat them because it was a close game coming down to the wire and then Brady forgot what down it was. So, uh, you know, I don't expect him to forget what down it is this time. He was just out of sorts a little bit. Because that was an early season game. Uh, the next one we have. The Cardinals are at home against the Texans. <laughs> right. Yeah, you know, I'm easily going here with the Cardinals. The Cardinals might just well be the best team in the NFL. Certainly the NFC. You got a lot of contenders for that. The Rams are, they, you know, they fancy themselves some up-and-comers. You got Tampa Bay with uh, TB12 there at quarterback. But I think the Cardinals just might be the best team in football. The next one we have, the 49ers are at home against the Colts. This one, it's a close one. Both teams like to play Jekyll and Hyde, and you never know which week they're going to be Jekyll and which week they're going to be Hyde, but I'm going to go with the 49ers. I'm taking the 49ers mainly because they are at home, 
And the Colts, you know, Colts, Wentz, I don't see it. I don't think that they're quite there yet. And now that brings us to the Monday, October 25th game. And guess what that game is? That is the Saints and the Seahawks. And the Seahawks are at home. But I'm still going to go with the Saints here. I'm going to give the edge to the Saints only because the um, Seahawks are going to be without Russell Wilson for at least two more weeks, maybe three more weeks. Who knows? And they have other injuries. They played very well against the Steelers um, and took them to overtime, but they ended up losing to the Steelers. And, of course, I don't think much of the Steelers, who are one of the teams that has a bye this week. So they're going to need it to regroup. And then, by the way, the teams that have a bye this week are Dallas, Buffalo, Jacksonville, the Chargers, Minnesota, and Pittsburgh. And I'm glad Minnesota has a bye because I can never figure them out. You never know if they're going to win, they're going to lose, they're Jekyll, they're Hyde, they're somewhere in between Jekyll and Hyde. They, I don't know. I don't know with Minnesota. So... So those are my picks. What do you guys think? How you like them? Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, uh, even if you don't like some of the picks. Let me know what picks you differ with me on, and uh, you know, because that's a lot easier than just listing all of your picks. However, if you want to do that, that's fine too. If you want to leave me a link to your video that does your picks for week seven, this is week seven. Did I mention it was week seven? If you want to leave me a link to your week seven picks video do so and I will watch that I love seeing what everybody's picking and you know usually I'm right in the ballpark with everyone else you know you usually have two or three different ones but um, you know I, I get by let's just say I get by so anyway that is it for me sportsman Z Bob Zolke signing off